do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel guys and uh, do not forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so you know Eddie Hearn Eddie Hearn ain't playing around he's gone off he's had it I'm gonna quote Eddie Hearn right now can you imagine if I said that it shows how much he Wilder wants to be undisputed though doesn't it he was in an interview yesterday with Stephen A. Smith on ESPN and they went if Fury fight if the Fury fight doesn't get made do you think there's a chance you could fight Anthony Joshua and he went they don't want it mate they're not interested why did someone say to him why didn't someone say to him well Eddie Hearn has just said that he has sent you six or seven emails to Shirley Winkle and they haven't replied to one because that fucker is so arrogant Shirley Winkle, he won't even reply to an email. And I've tried to be nice because he said to me, Eddie, don't say bad things about me in the media. But fuck it. He won't even have the courtesy to reply to an email. That is what Eddie Hearn said. And what he's talking about in the, in the, in the first sentence there, where he says, can you imagine if I said that? He's talking about because Wilder the other day said that, uh, I reported that Wilder the other day said that, you know, he's going to be, he has... A bunch of fighters lined up for the next two years, right? And Eddie Hearn is saying, of course, imagine if he said that about Anthony Joshua. Oh, I got, you know, a bunch of fighters lined up for Anthony Joshua for the next two years. He would be crucified. Uh, oh, yeah, 100%. There will be people making videos saying, oh, Eddie Hearn is not interested in, in AJ versus Deontay Wilder. He's already got all these dudes lined up. You know, he's a pussy. He's that. Right, he will be crucified as a, as a promoter. They'll be saying, "Why is he not talking about Wilder? Why is he just th think? Why is he thinking about the future already?" That means he's ducking, right? But of course, Wilder does it, and does, 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 Wilder says it. He says he has he could fight two for two more years, avoiding Anthony Joshua, and people, you know, it's a double standard. They let Wilder get away with that, as, at least his fan base, his his fanboys, right? And then of course he talks about. Uh, Shelly Finkel, Deontay Wilder's, you know, fucking uh, 105-year-old uh, uh, promoters. I don't know what the hell he is to him. All I know is every time you see Deontay Wilder in a goddamn press conference about a foot away from him, Shelly Finkel, 105-year-old, is right sitting right beside him. So he's something to him. Um, I don't know, his manager, his promoter, whatever. The man is something to him. Very important Very important to Deontay Wilder. Um, and then he says, why doesn't, he, why doesn't Shelly Finkel... Uh, because Shelly Finkel always says the same thing, right? They're not interested. They're not, you know, they're not talking to me. They're ignoring me. They're this. They're that. Just like Deontay Wilder. No, nah, they're not interested. But then he says, how come Shelly Finkel doesn't talk about the fact that he got, that he, you know, sent them emails. Sent them fucking emails and he never replied, right? It's kind of, and, and that just shows you that he's lying, you know. Obviously, I don't know for sure if Eddie Hearn sent emails, but the only one who's going around saying that he's actually attempted to make this fight happen, is Eddie Hearn. And the fact that last year, uh, Deontay Wilder said that Anthony Joshua's people, you know, Eddie Hearn, you know, and whoever else is is uh, involved in the negotiations, you know, they, he, Deontay Wilder said that they reached out to him and they're, they're, they're hitting him up. So this is why when I see Deontay Wilder and Shelly Finkel going around saying, nah, they're not interested, mate. They're not coming at me, leaving me, uh, letting me know that I that, that, that uh, they're trying to make this fight happen. I think that he's lying because, like I said, the fighter himself, Wilder, admitted just a month ago that, nah, they, they, they're they trying to hit him up. So that's why I don't believe that bullshit when I see guys like Shelly Finkel or even Deontay. Because now Deontay Wilder changes his tune and he's acting like they're not hitting him up. They're not trying to make this fight happen. Uh, but yeah, it's true. No one ever talks about that. At least the, the Wilder fans, they don't talk about that. Uh, they should have asked Shelly Finkel, that's true, Stephen A. Smith about, hey, how come you're not answering the fucking emails, man? To see what he said, or to see what he had to say about that. But it just, it just goes to show you, you know, the guys, you know, like Ed Heron said, the guys who really don't seem to want it is Deontay Wilder. And again, I, I didn't like when Deontay Wilder said that, oh, I could fight for two more years. I got two more years lined up. Uh, you know, if, if if Eddie Hearn or a AJ don't want to give me that 50-50 split, I could fight for two more years, son. I didn't like that because you should be like, you know what, well, fuck that. I'm not going to fight for two more years. I want the AJ fight. Fuck it. If he really wanted it, he'll just accept it. He'll, he'll accept any offer that Eddie Hearn is offering him and take it because that's the fight that the fans want to see. And You know, if he really wanted this fight, he'll be like, you know what, fuck it. 
I'll take whatever offer Eddie Hearn has to give it to me, to give to offer me. And then if if once I beat Joshua, then in the rematch, I'll make way more money. But De- Deontay Wilder, like I said, he's greedy and he just thinks about the money. And as far as he is concerned, if Eddie Hearn never offers him that amount of money that he's exactly asking for, then he has no problem avoiding Anthony Joshua his entire career and just going on defending his his belt against his against mandatories or like he says, guys lined up for the next two years. And that's all I have to say, guys. Subscribe for the latest in boxing and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.